Hi everybody, Kieran Subson here. This is the Motorola Moto G2013. Today I want to show you how to install Android 6.0 Marshmallow onto this. Um, so I will show you how to root and to flash the ROM. If you need to unlock the bootloader, I've already made a tutorial in a separate video and we'll leave the card up in the corner of the screen. Otherwise, let's jump straight into this tutorial. So as in the first tutorial, it's very important to make sure that you have the Android SDK and the Motorola USB drivers downloaded. Um, I'm assuming that you've already done this because it's the second tutorial. If you haven't, um, please see the first video, which I'll leave an annotation to on the screen right now. Okay, first power on the phone into fast boot mode by pressing the volume down and power buttons together. Okay, so there are three more things to download. Again, I'll leave links in the description. The first is the custom recovery, which you'll need to install before you root the device. You'll also need the ROM, which is a modified version of Sanogen Mod running Android 6.0, and um, the GAPS file, which is the Google Apps. Again, I'll leave the links in the description. So once you've downloaded the recovery, what you need to do is place it in the same directory as the Android SDK fastboot file. Find a blank space within the directory, hold shift and press right click and then click open command prompt window here or something along those lines to open the window. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is type in the command that you can see on the screen now and then where it says recovery image name, you need to replace that with the file name of the recovery image. So going back to the explorer window and then right click and then click rename on the recovery image file and then copy the name of the file and then paste it in between the quotes on the command in the command prompt. Make sure you've got the dot image extension at the end and then click enter and that should flash the image to your phone. It can take a couple of minutes for the recovery to be flashed onto the phone. Once it's finished, if you press the down arrow on the phone while in fast boot, highlight recovery and then press the up arrow to select it, it will take you into the recovery. Once you are there, you will be given the option to root the phone by installing the super user on it. So if you go ahead and do that, it's all touch screen from there. The phone will then reboot. Okay, once the phone's rebooted, if you navigate to the super user app and open it, it will tell you that it needs to update to the latest version. Um, tell it to do that from Google Play. Okay, once that's downloaded from Google Play, open up the app again and let it finish rooting your phone. Your phone will then reboot back into recovery. Now, once that's finished, let your phone boot again normally um, back into Android and plug it back into your computer via USB if you need to. What you need to do now is transfer the ROM file that you downloaded earlier and the um, Google Apps file into the root of the phone. Then turn the phone off again and again boot it back into the bootloader by pressing volume down and the power buttons together. Okay, next go back into the recovery by pressing the down arrow to highlight the recovery and the up arrow to select it. Okay, once in recovery I want you to press wipe, then advanced wipe, then Delvit cache data. Once you've got all them highlighted, swipe to begin the wipe that will take no time at all once that's finished tap install and if you scroll down to the bottom tap the cm-13.0 etc and then swipe right to install it it's important that you do it first before the google apps by the way okay that'll take a couple of minutes then once that's done you want to go through the same process but this time install the benzo hyphen gaps file again that'll take a couple of minutes then once that's done you want to reboot the phone um, the first time it boots it will take quite a while to load up. When it is there you will have a installation of Android 6.0 running on your Moto G. There you have it everybody, I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials. If you've been following these you should now have an unlocked bootloader, a rooted phone and at least some version of Android 6.0 Marshmallow working on this. At the time of doing this I believe any ROM you've got with Marshmallow has still got a few bugs in it but I will put a link in the description where you can get keep up to date with new ROMs and maybe find a better working one in the future. If you found this useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, um, please share it um, and subscribe etc and I will see you guys again in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye.